Hello everyone. In this video, I will be introducing you to the concept of Python memory management. We will see why it is important and how it is done. So before we start, let's try to first understand what happens whenever we execute a program. So whenever we execute a program, it mostly does only two things. Either it is reading something from the memory or it is writing something into the memory. But memory is a hardware component and our program does not interact directly with the memory. So what happens is we have several abstraction layers over which the communication between program and memory happens. So the basic abstraction layer which, which is uh, present is the OS or the operating system. Operating system uh, provides abstraction layer on top of memory and our program executes in the operating system and operating system kind of mediates uh, the reading or writing into the memory or from the memory towards the program. <coughs> That's one part. Um, the other part is memory is a hardware and it's not an infinite resource. Memory is a finite resource. So when I say memory is a finite resource, it means the operating system cannot allocate all the memory which is available just to execute your program because operating system requires the memory for other purpose as well and there are other programs running which also require uh, memory. So operating system allocates some part of memory to the Python interpreter. So that some part of memory is called as heap memory. So now you can see we have three layers. One is interpreter. Interpreter interacts with operating system and operating system interacts with the memory. Here I am not going much into the detail, but if you know this much, that's good enough to understand whatever we are going to discuss later. So the fragment of memory or the chunk of memory which is allocated to interpreter to, uh, to use for its uh, processing or to use for the program execution, it is called as heap memory. Heap memory also has its own partitions, like how we have uh, partitions in our hard drive. Similarly, uh, virtual memory also or the RAM memory it also has uh, uh, partitions in it. Python memory manager maintains the memory cells in those partitions. The question is why memory management is important. So let us try to understand that uh, with a small analogy. So I am sure that every one of you must have uh, traveled in a, in a bus. Imagine that you have to travel to some place and you wanted to book the ticket for your journey. So you go to the booking portal and you book a ticket for yourself. Booking portal allocates a seat for you. Now let's say on the day of journey when you board the bus, you see that another person is standing there and he is also claiming that the seat belongs to him. So what is the problem here? The problem is the website or the booking portal has allocated same seat to two person. Now obviously two person cannot see, uh, sit on the same seat. So in such situation, uh, if the conductor is available or if the ticket examiner is available then what uh, the ticket conductor or the ticket examiner can do is he can request one of the person to uh, take another empty seat. Um, so here the examiner or the uh, ticket conductor he is kind of acting as a manager who is trying to manage the conflict which has arised because one seat is allocated to two people or two persons. But wouldn't it be better if the conflict wouldn't arise at the first place? So the mistake was done by the booking portal. So if some manager or if some mechanism is there at the booking level itself, which makes sure that one seat will not be allocated to two, per, uh, to two uh, travelers, then the situation will not arise at all. So Python memory manager does kind of work in a similar way. Now let us replace seats with the memory cells and uh, the person with the data and the conductor with the Python memory manager. The Python memory manager has a mechanism which makes sure that data will not be overwritten over a particular memory cell. So if a memory cell is already having some data, another data will not come and get overwritten on it. What will happen if you overwrite the data? You will lose your previous processing data or you will get some garbage value. So that's why memory management is very much required. Otherwise, your processing will not be proper, or you will be, uh, or you will end up with the garbage value. So Python memory manager makes sure that whatever you are writing, it is written at a, a new location and not overwriting the previous data. 
in the next video we'll be talking uh, more into the detail about this memory cells and how the allocation or deallocation happens that is all for this video this was just the introduction how uh, or why the pattern memory management is required thank you for watching this video Thank mm -hmm. you.